Hi mathematicians! So in our previous video we started to look at solving some simple linear equations. In this video we're going to use the same method on trickier problems. So in the following examples we have the case where we start off with an x term on both sides of the equal sign. So we're going to tackle those and we're going to use a method whereby our first step is to get all the x terms on one side. Our next step is to get the constants on the other side and then we'll easily be able to solve for x. So let's go straight in. Now I advise to move the x's to the side that has the larger x coefficient. So we're going to be taking this x to this side. So in order to do that, we need to minus 1x from both sides. So 2x minus x gives x. So we have x plus 3 and then x minus x is 0 and so this equals 5. So this step we did minus x. For our next step, we want to get this constant on this side. So we need to minus 3 from both sides. So now we'll have x equals 5 minus 3. So this time we're doing minus 3 on both sides. And so x equals 2. So before I solve this next linear equation, you can give it a go yourself. So pause the video now. Okay, so if you got t equals 12, that is the correct answer. Well done. Um, if not, then continue watching how I got the answer. And even if you got it right, you can still see the process. Um, so first we want to get our t's all on one side. So 4t is larger than 2t, so we want to move to the left hand side again. So we're going to minus 2t from both sides. So 4t minus 2t is 2t. And then minus 6 equals, so 2t minus 2t is 0. So we're left with 18. So this time we did minus 2t. And now we want to get our constants all on the right hand side. So we're going to plus 6 to both sides to get rid of this minus 6 here. So 2t minus 6 plus 6 is 0 and then 18 plus 6 gives 24 so we're doing plus 6 and then we need to divide by 2 on both sides um, to get this to just be 1t so we're doing 2t divided by 2 equals 24 divided by 2 so this cancels leaving t equals 24 sorry 12 it was a bit more fun now we've added a step into our method when faced with problems like this when you have brackets involved we need to expand the brackets first and then we proceed with our usual steps so we'll expand and then we'll have all our x terms on one side and our coefficients on the other so let's get stuck in straight away with this example so we need to expand this bracket first now if you don't know how to do this, 
go and watch my tutorial on expanding brackets. So we've got 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 3 is 9, so that's plus 9, equals x plus 15. Our next step is to get this x over this side. So we're going to minus x from both sides. So 3x minus x gives 2x plus 9 equals, so this is x minus x is 0 equals 15. So we did minus x on this line. So now we want to get our constants on this side. So we're going to minus 9 from this side and this side. So that gives us 2x equals, so 15 minus 9 gives 6. Now we want to divide 3 by 2 because we want to have just 1x. So 2x over 2 equals 6 over 2 2's cancel, we're left with x equals 3. Perfect. So let's move on to the next question. I'm going to leave you mathematicians to try and solve this by yourself. And so pause the video now. Okay, so if you've got y equals 2, you got the answer right. If you didn't get the answer right, keep your eyes peeled whilst I solve this now. And yeah, I would say still watch if you did get it right. Um, so let's expand our brackets first. This one was a bit longer because you had brackets on both sides, but it's still the same thing. So we're going to expand. 3 times 2y gives 6y. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. This equals 2 times 6 is 12 minus 6y. Okay, so now we want to... Okay, so you want to bring over the minus 6y to this side. Because remember I said that you want to collect the terms onto the side with the higher coefficient. So plus 6 is greater than minus 6. By the way, if you do it the other way around, you're still going to get the same answer. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. So 6y plus 6y gives 12y. Minus 12 equals to 12. So we did plus 6y. Okay, so now we want to get our constants on the same, on the right side. So we're going to plus 12 because we want to get rid of this minus 12. So now we have 12y equals to 12 plus 12 is 24. Here we did plus 12. So now we want to divide 3 by 12 to get just 1y. So 12y over 12 equals to 24 over 12. These cancel, so we're left with y equals 2. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching, please like the video and subscribe to Mathematics for more math tutorials.